Pooja, your thoughts on the changing consumer and how you're seeing it in your industry but also around you? Oh, for us, the industry is absolutely different considering lingerie where it's no more about inner wear. What I mean is that gone are the days when women would just talk about black, white and beige bra. Now there is a different bra for a different outfit. You literally have a bra wardrobe, that's what I'm talking about. And thanks to more awareness, higher spending power, this change has happened. But also what happened is that one of the things that women don't shy away anymore is to talk about lingerie. We are open to talk about band sizes, we are open to talk about cup sizes. This whole stigma related to discussing lingerie and being hush hush is slowly diminishing and which has really brought about that big change in the consumer. And of course, not to mention the post-COVID what happened was that who knew that you could literally buy bras online. I mean, considering that it's a size-driven game, you know, where you just don't have four or five sizes of small, medium, large, excel. We have 20 sizes. And, you know, for a customer to buy the right size, because bras are all about the right fit, right size to, bra to buy that online was a big change for us. Yeah. Very interesting. And I, and I think, the, you know, as I reflect, if you look at, it seems like every category can go online. So, you know, if I look back five years or seven years, and you think about makeup as a category where everything was about visiting the store, trying on the shade, you know, you would have argued then that, hey, this category is going to be difficult to become large online. It's, I think, 30-35% online now. So, and I guess you're seeing a similar thing. Absolutely. You know, who knew that, you know, like considering when you spoke about the sizes, we have 20 sizes. Now you can actually get yourself, forget going to the store and getting yourself fitted, you can actually get your right size if you visit my website. You just have to put in some details and in few seconds, there it is, you know, whether you're a 32B or a 34D and, you know, you can buy it online. So why not? Got it. How's data redefining the game from a, you know, analytics perspective, innovation perspective? Uh, you know, targeting perspective and, you know, would love to hear your perspectives on, on that. Well, uh, leveraging on the multiple channels actually helps us to connect with the customer at multiple touch points, of course. And for us, considering a very sensitive in a way category, lingerie, which we spoke about, which is highly size driven, we have bra experts in the stores who actually help you and guide you because 90% of the women don't know their right bra size. They wear the wrong bra size. And once you walk into the store, the bra fit experts actually guide you that, ma'am, this is what will work for you. And it's just not about a 32B if you're a 32B or a 34D. It's also about what looks the best on you, whether it's a 3 fourth cup or a full cup. But then to convert that when she comes online is a bit challenge for us. And for that, it becomes very important for us to tap where our surrogate customers are. For example, our price points been 2,500 plus, where my surrogate customer is, how do I tap into her, what she's buying, where she's buying, because lingerie, like we spoke about, the bra wardrobe, is not about inner wear anymore. It's all about how you're going to style it. And if she's buying the right brand, and if she's my right surrogate customer, and to tap her and offer her the right bra that will look the best on her, with that outfit becomes a game changer for us. If the product can't talk to the consumer and uh, convince the consumer, trust me, nobody else can. So what are the ways and means in which we can actually bring that experience in front of the consumers is what will drive success for businesses going forward. Pooja? For us, like Priyanka said, that we put the customer right in the center. One of the experiences that I want to share with everybody post-COVID, literally what happened was during COVID, there was work from home. Women literally stopped wearing bras. What do I do? People stopped dressing up. Right? It was because of boredom. People didn't want to wear bras. Women just didn't want to wear bras. What happens to us as a brand? And that was one of the biggest problems that we faced. And what we did was we put the customer in the center, what she wants. She wants to feel comfortable and she wants to feel confident. And taking it from there, we build our brand, saying we as a brand are comfortable inside, confident inside. And that's what works for us.